Children's cancer is unspeakably cruel. It robs families of joy, but never of love. And it's that love that powers one Queensland father to find a cure for the cancer that took the life of his little girl, Amy. Wren is from The Cure Starts Now. Good morning, Wren. Yeah, you know, Rach, it's an absolute pleasure to talk to you, Rach. Thank you for the time. Oh, not at all. You never expected to be doing this and raising millions for cancer research. What's happening today? Um, Rach, I also never expected that um, with my friends here at the Queensland Brain Cancer Centre, we've managed to corral the nation's leading oncologists, researchers and scientists, Rach, and we've, we've brought them all here to Brisbane and we're putting them all in one room, in one setting, and we're fast-tracking treatments for children's brain cancer, and in particular, a cancer classified, Rach, as the deadliest cancer known to man, and it's a paediatric cancer called DIPG. So we've got dozens of, of people at this very second discussing how they can uh, save the lives of, of Queensland and Aussie kids, Rach. The Queensland Brain Cancer Centre, let's hope that those powerful brains in the room can can uh, can come up with, it, with an answer for you, Ren. It's been a challenging environment. Obviously, no need to talk about everyone um, has experienced their own challenges. But personal interactions, Rachel, are very important. Mm. And we've postponed this event over, over the last 12 months and finally had to put put our foot down and just say to hell with it. We need to go into bat for these for these local families with children with terminal cancer. And, and it's fantastic to see the enthusiasm of so many bright minds from across the country get together and Zoom's good and, and all that sort of uh, virtual stuff is fantastic, but you cannot beat the uh, the physical interaction and, and the and the critical banter of, of one-on-one. And um, it's quite a coup for Brisbane and for Australia to have this event happen. And I'm just so thankful for yourself and the ABC for, for shining a light on this very important issue because children with terminal brain cancer need hope and we're giving it to them, Rach. Ren, I'm going to get you to tell me about Amy. Yeah. Uh, uh, my daughter was diagnosed in 2007. Um, uh, we're up in Townsville, Rach, and we were flown down immediately to Brisbane. And uh, her doctor, Tim Hassel, is one of the. He's convening the meeting uh, here today. Tim was unsuccessful, as as most doctors are, with 99.9 percent of DIPG cases, Rach. And there will be many uh, local families listening to this shaking their head at the, at the diagnosis their child has received. My daughter died in 2009, uh, and Rachel, and at that time, there was absolutely nothing happening in Australia. Uh, there was no research into these types of tumours. And then we discovered that um, paediatric brain cancer removes more children from the Australian population than any other illness. So we, um, we set about addressing that travesty, and over the last 10 years, we raised a lot of money and we've managed to inspire uh, this nation's most important scientists and researchers and we've united with a few foundations and we've we formed the DIPG Collaborative and the result is today. Um, and today is a very special event in the history of Queensland cancer research and um, hopefully we'll soon see there's some very uh, stunning research being presented right next to me um, in the door I'm looking at and hopefully we can get these treatments into the clinic very quickly, Rach. On ABC Radio Brisbane, it's 20 past 10. I'm Rachel Mealy and I'm talking to Ren Pedersen. He's from The Cure Starts Now. You've, you've talked about the DIPG Collaborative, Ren, but just tell me, what does, does DIPG stand for something? It stands for Diffuse Intrinsic Pontine Glioma. It's a type of brain tumour that forms in the brain stem of a child, Rach. Um, it effectively... Um, disintegrates the entire facet of a human being. So these poor child are, are, are tortured to death through every facet of their body, um, their sight, their hearing, their taste, their smell. Everything disintegrates over a period of time, and it's it's a it's a terribly confronting um, and tragic illness. And it's also very hard to market, Rach, um, which is why it came to the time where yours truly had to get the ball rolling. And now we have a um, uh, a fantastic. Uh, organisation that is combined with the DIPG Collaborative, which is essentially parents. We're all parents who have witnessed our children tortured to death and we're, we're making a difference. So just a shout out to those parents. It's very hard to bury a child and then progress on past that. Um, 
that the parents within our DIPG collaborative are doing just that, and um, it, it's it's quite an inspirational event. And again, I thank the ABC and yourself for taking interest in this. Oh, the, 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 the it's room the that least I'm looking that at, we Rachel, can do, honestly. When, when I, we hear I, these stories, it's really it's it's the least that we can do. You you talk I, about. Looking, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I'm looking at a door that has probably uh, more knowledge um, and intelligence in it in the entire country in one setting, and yet you guys are the only media group that have taken any interest whatsoever in this cause. Um, this should be headline news across the country, what we've done. Some of Queensland, we're showcasing Queensland science, not only to Australia, to the world. We're, we're doing live crosses across uh, around the planet through Europe and uh We've got a, a presentation at the moment from Canada and New York, and it's such a special event. And um, I, I just can't thank you enough, Rach, for your interest and help. Ren, you've spoken about the other families that you've come across who are also on this horrific journey of paediatric brain cancer. How do you help support each other? Uh, we're just normal people. Um, we just deal directly with each other. Um, we, we, we don't deal with spin. Um, we have Matt Dunn here, who's whose beautiful daughter passed away uh, two years ago now, uh, around two years ago. And Matt's uh, flown up from Newcastle. Matt's story, anyone who's interested, just Google Matt Dunn um, and you will be blown away at, at what this man has done. Um, we're just normal normal folk. But the people, that, the doctors and caregivers, Amy's original doctors and caregivers, are not even though they, they lose their patients, these Queensland doctors have got together um, through the Queensland Brain Cancer Centre and... They're making a difference. So very special people. You know, they're treating children at the moment that they have to look the eye of the parents and tell them, you know, there's no, there's no treatments. Um, just go home. And that's unacceptable. And um, as parents, we're just getting behind the researchers. We're giving them the, the money they need to fund the best research on the planet. And it's, um, it, it's, it's a fantastic event. And uh, Brisbane should be very proud. How much have you been able to raise so far? And, and what has that gone to, obviously, staging today as part of it? We primarily fund, oh, I can't really recall, a couple of million, maybe two and a half, something like that. You lose track, Rach. Um, we fund, we primarily fund out-of-the-box concepts. Mm -hmm. Treatments for these children with brain cancer at the moment, it's essentially like throwing spaghetti at a wall and seeing what sticks. Um, most of the treatments are adult treatments that they're trying kids that, that, that does not work, essentially. So we primarily fund um, young postdocs with new concepts that, that might have been laughed at five or ten years of, uh, years ago, right? So um, that's primarily what we do, generally two or three grants a year through the collaborative, and that seed funding goes on to bigger and better things, um, and it, it's actually working, and, and others in Australia's scientific community can attest for the success of our templates, right? My colleague Rebecca Levingston has hosted your annual charity fundraiser the last few years and, uh, she, you know, she, she, she counts it as one of the highlights of her year. Is it on again this year? Uh, it's on again uh, 23rd of July, I think. Uh, I haven't got the diary in front of me, but it, it is one of the, the proudest moments of, of my life and it's one of the, something I look forward to every year is seeing Rebecca Levingston the most special, beautiful lady with a heart of gold who, who understands our cause, who, who's an old, an old Townsville girl as well. Um, I can't wait to, to um, catch up with Rebecca, and, and words can't express enough um, the appreciation that I, I have to, for Rebecca. She, she's a She's a bloody great MC, let me tell you that, right? <laughs> oh, here, here. Um, and radio <laughs> presenter, let me tell you. Uh -huh. Look, um, Ren, thank you so much for coming on and sharing your story with me this morning. Um, where can people go if they want to find out more about your uh, your mission? And, uh, and People just Google the Cure Starts Now Australia. That They will see, um, they will see what a network of parents is achieving. Um, and, and for other organisations, not only uh, children's or, or even brain cancer organisations, have a look at the DIPG Collaborative. Have a look at how you can be involved. Anyone who's listening to the show at the moment, if they run a business, I can tell you hand on heart, there is no more deserving cause. There is no more deserving cause than giving hope to children who are dying from brain cancer. And I thank you so much, Rach, for, for your interest. And I, I, I just urge everyone to, to jump on board and have a look on, on the, uh, the websites or the Facebook, whatever they want to do, and, and get behind um, children with terminal brain cancer. Thanks very much, Ren, and good luck for today. Yeah, thanks again, Ren.
That's Ren Pedersen. He's from The Cure Starts Now. And as he said, if you want to find out more about that organisation, just Google The Cure Starts Now.